Tourism Philippines organized a conclave to discuss the way to meet expectations of the Middle East travelers' new normal. This series of virtual gatherings with our Middle East travel experts was conceptualized to provide our Philippine stakeholders with fresh insights and a better understanding of the evolving Middle East travel market segments. We would like to keep our Philippine partners up to speed on current trends in the region to aid in the creation of more competitive and responsive travel products that will better prepare them to engage our Middle East travel trade. There are so many countries across the globe and everybody is looking for a stamp of approval from some global uh, organizations and WTTC is one which has did come out with this thing. So what's your thoughts on that? How important is those? I think it's very, very important because WTTC alongside uh, the members, governments, health experts and other industry associates, associations, they are working together to achieve an effective recovery protocols uh, by developing meaningful meaningful action plans. I really would like to ask you by saying that, what is it this this whole pandemic has taught the uh, market? Uh, what I would say is, and what is the unique role that we should all learn uh, from this pandemic going forward? One of the most important things that you know we have learned out here is that how do you make sure that you keep on top of it in terms of getting this information at your end? and disseminating it to the right customers at the right time in order for them to be able to plan their travel. The more you have information being provided to the customers in advance and giving them the options based on that where they can actually travel, the planning happens in a much more seamless manner. The bookings actually convert and people are able to actually travel and come back and have a good time that they actually intended to. What are your points which you think will sell very well of Philippines in the GCC market? The places like Banwa Island, I think this is for the. This is one of the most uh, world's most famous uh, place to be for any tourist. But this is for this is a luxury travel, and this is for the high-end travelers. And this this will be not just for the youth, but it will be for uh, the high-end travelers from all over GCC. These destinations they have to be promoted. They have these has to be paid to the to the market over here. The GCC people are highly attracted by the hospitality. And I think, and I not I think, I believe, I think Philippines is number one in hospitality. Philippines has great islands. There's a lot of island activity to do. How can you showcase that island activity? There is a very strong entertainment uh, you know, culture that's out there. How can we showcase that entertainment in a, in a manner which kind of attracts the right kind of people? There is also an alternate shopping available out there which can make a lot of people realize, you know, they can do a lot of shopping in, 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 in Philippines. And uh, also the other part in terms of the cuisine, right? And how does it make a complete package that enables people to say that, listen, you, you're not just coming here for a one-time holiday. You're coming here for an experience that you'll want more and you'll want to come back again.